Hi book friends, I'm Addie and this is Books and Tea Time, and today we're doing a tag video. I was formally tagged by the one and only the lovely Nerdy Nat of Nerdy Nat Reads, or Nat from Nerdy Nat Reads, tagged me to do the Talking Titles book tag. So we are going to be answering questions about book titles today. And I will, of course, have Nat's video and the creator of this tag, their video, linked in the description box. And I noticed right before filming that Nat is so, 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 so close to 500 subs. So if you're watching this video and you don't already subscribe to Nerdy Nat Reads, go to the link in my description box, check her channel out, give her some love and subscribe and get her to 500. And if she's already at 500, still subscribe and let's get her to like, 600 and 700 because she's got great content great videos and she's super sweet so subscribe to her channel so the first question is typically we judge books by their covers do you judge books by their title does the title influence if you'll pick up a book or not and i would say yes i think personally titles more so than book covers are what really draws me in like if you if your book has a good title an intriguing title or has titles with like buzzwords in it especially like fantasy like if you've got like buzzwords and interesting things or like a unique and like catchy title i'll definitely go for it but that goes for every genre if you have a good title i will check it out on goodreads and then read the synopsis so it's like a domino effect of with books that I'm interested in and I've definitely I've been duped by many a book um and bought it just for the title um and haven't even read it just off the top of my head I bought Artemis by Andy Weir were Weir just because of the title even though I'm pretty sure it's science fiction has absolutely nothing to do with mythology um just the fact that Artemis is in the title I was like yep same with Persephone Station I haven't read it yet but I put that on my list just because of the title. And again, I think it's a science fiction, so I don't know where the, the mythology is coming in, but if there is any mythology related buzzwords in a title, I will, I will buy it and read it. Whether I'll like it, I can't guarantee. Title is definitely really important because I feel like a book can have an ugly cover, but a cool title and it won't bother me as much. Question number two is, do you try to figure out like the meaning of a title? Does it bother you when you can't figure it out? I feel like I do this a lot for like books that I'm reading for class or books that I was reading for school. Like if I was reading it and I couldn't figure out the title or like I was supposed to figure it out. Like, you know, like you have like the feeling like you're supposed to be in on the secret of the book title. So if it was for school and the title wasn't obvious like that, I would try and puzzle it out and we would like discuss it in class. Like Turn of the Screw by Henry James, White Noise by Don DeLillo, like things like that. Typically when I'm reading a book for fun, I don't notice it unless it's like explicitly said in the book and it wasn't even really something that I necessarily loved talking about in class like I'm more like into the nitty-gritty of like the characters the setting the plot what's going on the thematic elements of the book the threads the plot threads the the nuances of it and like I like a good title but like I feel like a title can't be everything like it's more it's about the book it's about what's on the pages and about what goes on it's not boiled down to just like the like one to ten word title or whatever question number three is do you remember book titles or are you always saying that one book with blah 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 i think i'm pretty good at remembering titles um especially if it's a book that i've read if it's a book that i haven't read but i think i'm more likely to forget the author of a book and if i've read it it's very rare that i'll forget the title of the book but i'll remember something that happened more often i remember the title but i forget everything that happens in the book question number four is do you feel that series titles should coordinate and what's the best series title that you can co that comes to mind um yes especially if like a couple of the books go together like the first two or three books go together and then like the next book doesn't like that would really really bother me especially fantasy it really like it's very typical of fantasy to do this but it really really bothers me when books don't do this 
and there's like one oddball out where the title doesn't match i'm just like come on like you establish this flow and then you mess it up some good ones that come to mind well this is both good and bad i would say the historic materials books by philip pullman have really good titles uh, it's The Golden Compass, The Subtle Knife, and The Amber Spyglass. But something that really bothers me, the UK title of The Golden Compass is Northern Lights. Not The Northern Lights, Northern Lights. Which really bothers me because it doesn't match the other two books. Like the other two, to my knowledge, don't have UK titles. But for some reason, there's a like a UK title for the first book and not for the other books. I, I don't know what's going on with that. That kind of bothers me. But if you use The Golden Compass, um, I think that's really cool because it's all of his dark materials and that's like the series name. Series names are also important. I really really don't like when the series name of a fantasy series is just the same as the first book in a series and doesn't have its own thing. Like the Three Dark Crowns series by Kendar Blake is just called the Three Dark Crowns books which I don't like. Some other ones that I can think of. I love all of the titles of the Stormlight books individually but as a series there's just not a lot of flow. Like you have The Way of Kings, you have Words of Radiance, you have Oathbringer, and then you have Rhythm of War. I, I don't know something about it just kind of bothers me but individually I love all of those titles like by themselves they're great especially Rhythm of War like ugh, I just can't wait to get to that book just for the name alone. Also something I was thinking about when I was prepping for this video is Jane Austen's books. Maybe this is just me making no sense but if you've read Jane Austen's novels you know that there's Pride and Prejudice and Sense and Sensibility and like those go together in the title love it. Then you've got Mansfield Park and Northanger Abbey which go together because they're both places locations and then you have persuasion and emma like why is there just a random one that's the name of one of the heroines i feel like emma should have a different title so that would it would match with persuasion but that bothers me does it bother anybody else have you noticed that before am i just making that up is it coincidence i don't know but it kind of irritates me i'm not gonna lie to you Question number five is favorite titles. So I definitely like Pride and Prejudice a lot. I just said that one. Just it's classic, you know, it's amazing. Same with East of Eden by John Steinbeck, which is also one of my favorite books of all time. It's just, it's the perfect title for that book because there's so much that goes on that if you tried to just name it something else, I feel like it would really just, it would try and capture a snapshot of something that needs to be like a panoramic view if that makes sense. I really love the title for like the big picture one of the big picture themes of the book and like the biblical retelling and the Cain and Abel story. Plain Bad Heroines is another one. I immediately put that book on my Goodreads list when I read the title and I didn't even know what that book was about. I just added it because I loved the title so much. Uh, I also really like An Unkindness of Ghosts by River Solomon. I think that is just such a mysterious juicy beautiful title i love that title so much i think it's so neat and clever and it's just it's so solomon too i love it number six is m the most iconic titles that come to mind and immediately when i heard of the question i thought frankenstein frankenstein by mary shelley it's iconic because even though a lot of people like have like the misconception that like Frankenstein is the monster's name it's just such a popular name like you everyone knows what you what you're talking about when you say Frankenstein everyone knows exactly like the story that like even if the precise like parts of the book even if they haven't read the book and they don't really understand like there's that like cultural like saturation of Frankenstein and like the Bride of Frankenstein and like the films and adaptations and just like the typical Halloween Frankenstein creature. It carries so much cultural and literary power and weight in that one word in that one name of Victor Frankenstein. It's just so amazing and it's a great book. It's one of my favorite books of all time. I love Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. I have it right here on my bookshelf if you can see it. And then The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, I feel like it's just such an iconic title. It's an iconic book. It's a story about celebrity and gossip and like magazines but also about this woman and the loves of her life and the true love of her life. Number seven is l some lame or generic titles that come to mind and I kind of had trouble with this one to be honest because like I feel like I can appreciate a title even if I don't necessarily like it or if I would have named it something else but like a lot of books I was having trouble 
and then for some reason the old man in the sea just popped out at me as something that's like oh my god you fall asleep just saying it am i right just imagine a dude on a ship in the middle of the ocean fishing by himself and i'm like good god do i have to watch this guy fish for like 500 pages or whatever like no at the same time i really really don't like any of like the sarah j mass cassandra clare book titles or like books like that i haven't read any of them i have a personal like <laughs> not a vendetta against but like i i really just have no desire to read any sarah j mass or cassandra clare but like the a court of blah 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 the court of blah 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 like i'm not really into that city of brass glass bone i don't know i'm just like god damn it how many cities are there and then last but not least question number eight i i love this question i think this is such an amazing question is that if you renamed your channel using an existing book title what book title would you choose this is just such a good question and the first thing that came to mind was great expectations by charles dickens because i have great expectations for the books that i read however I then realized that that kind of sounds like you should come to my channel with great expectations and I, d I just don't know. I feel like come to my channel with like middle of the road expectations. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Please don't unsubscribe to my channel. So I settled on my final answer that I'm going to settle on is persuasion because the whole point or one of the main reasons to have a booktube is to like read a book and then review it and persuade people to want to read them, right? So I thought that that would be clever and fun. But I love that question. So please let me know in the comments what your answer would be because I think that is such a clever question. It's just amazing. I love it so much. So thank you to whoever created this tag because these questions were great thank you again to nat for tagging me so that i could answer these questions thank you for watching this video appreciate you coming and supporting my channel and i hope that we can chat in the comments don't forget to like comment and subscribe if that's your jam and i hope to see you in my next video happy reading happy writing and happy living bye